My mom was so, just had the biggest heart and like this contagious laugh. My mom, Susie, was a fair-skinned redhead like me and died at 55 from skin cancer. I literally like witnessed her take her last breath and it's something that haunts me like to this day. My dad, Gary, was a non-smoker who died from lung cancer at the age of 51. He was diagnosed October 16th and died December 6th. Wow. So because of my family history, I thought I was the perfect candidate for a test that can tell you whether or not you have the cancer gene. It's a simple blood test that's called the BRCA test. And if you test positive, meaning your genes have a genetic mutation, you have a 50 to 80% chance of developing breast cancer and a 20 to 50% chance of getting ovarian cancer. Despite the emotions that come with results, I wanted to know my fate. Here at Fletcher Allen and I'm about to meet with one of the genetic counselors and I'm pretty excited, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm also kind of nervous. Um, but I think my parents would be proud. And you mentioned a sister, do you have other siblings? After collecting my complete family history and learning that my parents and other relatives didn't die from the same cancer, I was told that it's very unlikely I have a genetic predisposition to breast and ovarian cancer. My sister and I just always swear we're like, you know, riddled with cancer. And when, when are we going to, you know, when's the next big ball going to drop? So what if you know there's cancer in your family history? What makes you a candidate for a test like this? There's usually a history of breast cancer under the age of 50, ovarian cancer, men with breast cancer, many generations. I mean, the histories are pretty um, impressive. That was the case of Ellen Duby. At 27, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. It felt like the world just like dropped through my body and like fell beneath my feet. It was just, I just couldn't believe what they were telling me. She got testing done to determine her options. Because of her positive BRCA test that shows she's at a higher risk of developing cancer, she underwent a double mastectomy. It could have been a different story if I had known sooner, if I had known about this genetic test. Doobie's test results also have her contemplating removing her ovaries to completely eliminate her risk of ovarian cancer. I'm not married yet. I don't, you know, don't have children, something I've always thought that I would want to do. People who have these gene mutations also have the option of taking a preventative oral form of chemotherapy. Doobie is doing this and says the process is emotional, but also empowering. If you aren't qualified for the test Doobie received, there are plenty of other preventative tests that can detect cancer early and give you a better chance to fight it. Pap smears regularly. When you turn 40, get your mammogram. When you turn 50, get your colonoscopy. So whether your story looks more like mine my mom like doesn't get to be you know grandma my dad doesn't get to walk me down the aisle or looks more like Ellen's we want to perhaps change your family's destiny by knowing what's out there and if we save even just one life it's worth it cancer strikes far too often it's so time for a cure I'm hopeful <laughs>